ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, I am in truck number 17. Uh, Kenny just got back from a run moving some equipment. Uh, had to send him on a call in the Western Star, and now I need to go move a piece of farm equipment for a local dairy uh, into the uh, implement dealer so it can get, uh, get repaired. So nobody injured, nothing like that. Just, uh, just a move on our trailer. They requested a trailer, ramp trailer with a winch. So that's what we're gonna do. Go help out a farmer. Okay, so we're pulling into the dairy. We got some tight curves to navigate and get turned around to head back out. And the sun is sinking low in the sky very, very quickly. Kitty cat. Or pup. No, that was a kitty cat, wasn't it? dairy farm that not a lot of people knows even back here. Oh man. Pick him up truck in a bad spot. But we got enough room. We made it. We got to go around that and back in there's a uh, oh shoot an area back there. I don't even know what to call it. But where that black cow is, we got to swing wide and cut oh, in right. along there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll have to cut my axles. I can pull the axles forward on the trailer yeah. and we can make tight swings, but you've got a horrible, horrible tail swing. The back of the trailer swings out when you do that. It doesn't look like there's anything on this outside no. the sweeping edge that we're yep. hurt with that one. We may have to do that coming out for sure. Uh, yes, but the only thing I'd have to be cautious of is there is a fence. Yep, there's a fence on the other side coming out. You are correct. I think I can make it. I was say, it looks like it kind of tapers pretty good. So. You're clear probably by about six foot. Uh, three, good. Nine, three by the axles. Yep. I just don't want to hit that fence. I can't see. Uh, you're good. You're good. You're still on the road. Engine forward here. I don't want to hit the man's fence. We good? Uh, yep. Okay. Clear. Uh, dairy cattle. There's the tractor we have to get straight ahead of us. Awesome. But there's there's room enough to swing around, mm -hmm. but it's going to be hard to get straight with it the way he's got it angled. It doesn't, I don't think it runs. Oh, oh, moo cows. Lots of moo cows. See, it's too big to go on a rollback. Way oh. too big to go on the rollback. He said he drove it there a week or so ago. I don't remember what he said was wrong with it. Um, the implement dealer came out and worked on it and said they needed it in the shop. So what I'm gonna try to do, try to back up 
as close as, as square as I can with it, but I've got this drop off over here, so I don't want to drop off. Of course, with this trailer, I can always push myself out a little bit. You don't want to depend on that, but. I don't know how soft that is. We've had quite a bit of rain lately. If it get, I'll start getting the trailer. If you can't get perfectly square to it, if the tractor will still steer. That's yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. We're gonna tie a winch to it regardless, but. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I probably won't be able to get perfectly square with it. Just the way the layout is here. But if I can get decent with it. That doesn't look too bad. See if you can. I'm gonna stop here for a minute and uh, get the axles and stuff slid. Okay. S check on the line. Yeah. See if you see if it starts. Okay. And uh, if it'll go into neutral. Do what? Sitting on this side of the trailer, if you swing down, it might hit this buggy. Okay. Well, I can reposition again. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, let me get the axles slid, and it's going to be close. You might just nudge it out of the way it is taken. So. Yep. We're good. No start. Well, this ignition switch does not feel exactly right. That's okay. If, if not, just see if you can get it popped into neutral and I'll get the winch line. Yeah, let's not, as long as you can get it in neutral, On that tractor, I'm not sure. We'll tie a winch line to her and we'll see. Hopefully, it'll roll on and roll off. I say it should be a neutral sky. Two different, two different uh, gear levels, and they're both in the neutral position. Okay.
All right. We're about to test your theory. All right. Hop up in the cab and steer, please. That could almost be a joke on a cow farm. Huh? Steer. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I know dad joke. <laughs> Nope, you're not neutral. Can you clutch it? Yep. Uh, nope. Something ain't right. No, this should be your draft levers. Uh, Parking brake anywhere, maybe? Probably key it on and see if you've got uh, and that should be your PTO button yeah. should that right there mm -hmm. uh, this should be your forward, forward reverse. reverse this should be your uh, okay what BD problem here all right we may just have to drag it on Keep your foot, up. huh? All right, parking brake is disengaged now. Parking, oh, okay. Operator error. That makes things so much easier. I think I found the issue too, the clutch pedal sticks to the floor. Okay, well, good. That makes it loading and unloading a whole lot easier. Hard right, hard right. All right, straighten her up. Looking good, looking good. This way just a little bit. Straight. Parking brake set. Let's tie her down. Binder's coming back. Binder's coming back. Go around the right okay. there. Yep, go there, and then you can go. You can take one end of that right down here. Hold on, no, you want to double your chain back. So, what you can do here, watch, you can take this one, should be able to go right there, and take that one all the way to the outside edge. Or the opposite with this take that one and drop it first hook gun inside of there it's not gonna work is it 
Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And then take up your take up your uh, slack on the outside here. Now we should have the front tied down before coming back here to the back. Okay. So just snug these down. I've got the winch line on it, but you always want to tie the front down first. I do. I'm just going to hand tighten this for now. come forward a little bit. Pop the rear binders off. Nah. We'll uh I'll just single this front and we'll uh we'll be fine. We're in good shape. This thing doesn't weigh much anyway. Yeah, just do what you started to do back there and single wrap it. But yeah, watch it tie rod or steering link, whichever. No, nope, that is tie rod. Yep. There you go. Put your bottom hook in first. Makes it a whole lot easier. Bottom hook in first? Yeah. You already got it. That's okay. But just for future reference, you put the bottom hook in first and then pull the top part of the chain tight. It works easier. Yeah, you can probably get another couple links out of there. Or at least one. There you go. good for now because whenever we let the bed back level these will loosen up a little bit okay all right so we'll have to go back to the back and uh, now that we've got the front i've got to let the winch off let's go tighten the back up yep, watch your step I'll leave it tight on there for now since we're going to be behind it even though the parking brakes on and we've got it tight on the front now just crank her down and see i could have put a, if i had my clevis which i think there's one under the bunk on this but i don't run this truck all the time anymore yeah if there had been a clevis in there, we could have just tied it to the draft arm. Uh, but this works just as good. Alright, you good? Push the axles back.
Now I gotta let off on the winch. Because if I don't, it tightens that winch line up. Oop. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, bud. I can't. You're you're breaking up real bad, buddy. Okay. That's okay. I'd rather you be home late and safe. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Like I said, rather have you home safe than not, and late than not at all. Okay? I know. I get it. All right. Well, I need to go, buddy. Eli and I are moving a farm tractor from the uh, dairy, Spring Street dairy. So we got to try to get out of here and get it unloaded before the, uh, the dealer closes. All right. I'll, I'll call you back in just a little bit. Okay, bud? All right. Love you. Bye. Be careful. All right, we're good. As long as we can get out of here, we're good. Cows have gathered up to watch us. All right, clear. Thank you for the milk, ladies. Or someone turns hard quite a bit, yep. trying to make that curve. That's a lot of work being a dairy farmer. Being any farmer, but dairy farmer. I've known some people that uh, have done it, and they say it's a very, very, very hard life. Dad did it when he was younger. Dad's not with us anymore, but he did it when he was a boy. You know, farming, that was, that was what he did growing up, was, that was farming. Life. Whatever type of farming was involved, that was, that was it, you know? Yep, that's right. Oh, we got plenty of room. But as far as dairy goes, not only are you keeping up with the individual health of the animals, but where they live and you know their habitats and getting your product from them. Yep. Hello babies. Quite the audience today. Yep. They're all hungry. It's feeding time. Well, they got going down. down. That's getting cold. It's not heat. You don't hunker down. Yep. Yep. Some, Some of them already are. are yep. Yeah. They're already hunkered down in the hay and balled up. All right. I'm gonna assume that that gets there and there for a while. Yeah, it does appear that way. Yeah, the air horns. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Uh -oh. oh no. Yeah, we got a predicament. 
they've got a wide spot there. I'm over as far as I can go. I might Safely. be able to back up some, but I don't want to get off any further. I'll just stop and. I could be wrong, but this pass this road here looks pretty squishy. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me too. I thought he would pull over in that wide pull out, but. He knows this land better than I do, I'm sure. We'll let him come in. He's got solid area there. Oh, it, we're good. No worries. He's got a lot shorter trailer than we do, though. We got 53 yeah. foot behind us. That was and this long and this long wheelbase uh, tractor with a bunk on it. He's got a day cab and that short trailer. They can maneuver a lot easier back there than we could. It's all good. We made it. He made it. We made it. Now on to the dealership. Okay, so we're at the dealership. I'm going to go in and see where they want it. And uh, we'll get it untied and unloaded. Yep, they said just unload her back here behind the dock anywhere and they could get it they had equipment to move it around so they, they even knew which one it was they were expecting it so oh, all good got a little bit of people over there Start on time, but Just lay your binder in the chain right in the center so the tractor rolls over it. Okay. Then we can just walk that stuff back up to the storage bins after we get her unloaded. I like that. Alright, stand clear. Notice how the winch line tightens up. Okay, I got it. Get in, release it, and we'll roll her back. I'll watch you. Just keep the wheel straight and it should come straight back. Here. Hey, like, would it be easier here? I've got winch line on it. Right. Go ahead. Free?
Looking good. Nope. All right, set the parking brake. We're gonna have to go old school with it. Okay. All right, come on down. I'm gonna have to teach you a trick or three. take the winch line we'll take one of our uh, uh, chains here tie it into the back of the bed okay. and we'll run our snatch block with the line and then we'll run that winch line here and pull backwards okay so that we're actually pulling the tractor off of the trailer I get you. all right you understand what we're doing okay until we get that partially set up though Because I don't want to trust the parking brake. Is this one, one chain just, right? Yeah, I just want one as a safety. Okay. Because it, at some point we're going to have to take this loose. Now take that other chain and drop it down in one of those rear compartments. I'll get get us some uh, slack on the winch line. Run your chain, run your chain short, very, very short, right here against these two T's. You get the line in the snatch block. This will get you on it short. That's good. Get the line in the block and then I'll pass you the block back. And I'll redo everything up here. block gets tied to that loop you just made and I'm going to shorten this loop here I want it as short as I can get it Really, all we have to do is get the front tires off or close. Then we can set the brake and get the trailer out. Huh? Then we can get, set the brake and get the trailer out the rest of the way. Yeah. You want me back up inside of it? Ah. Let me, get, let me get the line snugged up on it. Even though we know it's probably not going to roll anywhere. Well, it's gonna be pulling backwards on it when I do that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get up in it before I get everything lined up. It may not get us all the way off, but it's gonna get close. Ready?
That's it. Hold on. That's about all we got. All right. I'm gonna have to raise the tailboard just a little bit and see if I can pull out from under it. Set. Yeah, go ahead and set the brake. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna get a wood block and I'm gonna block between the tires on the back. That way the front tires are free rolling. Because with the e brake on, the front tires were locked as well. Yeah. Okay. We don't like much. No. Shoot, if the if the parking brakes off, me and you might be able to even roll it with the cleats. Oh. Yeah, come on, buddy. Oh yeah. It's almost off. That's good now. Set it. It's off. The treads are off the trailer. So if I raise it just a little bit and pull forward, we're good. Until the trailer slid backwards. <laughs> Whenever I let it back down, that's all good. All right, rolling forward. We're clear. Don't jump. That was it. Yep. Now those chains, the single hook chains, okay. get hung right in front of the winch. Okay. And uh, the binders, there's two storage bins. This one goes, the binders go in the driver's side storage bin. Okay. I'll get the snatch block off if you want to start putting those up. And then I'll run the winch line in. versatility of that trailer all right Derek seats ready to be worked on as always thank you for watching and God bless